Hi, this is Kate, Teen Services Librarian at the Brighton District Library. And hi, this is Lori, Youth Services Librarian at the Brighton District Library. And today we are going to show you how to make your very own tie-dye mask. All right, so let's go over what we have in your supply bags, which you can pick up at the, the library. Um, you'll want to go to the youth desk and ask for a DIY to go kit. So what you will find in your bag when you pick it up from the library is your very own face mask, although yours will be white to start with, and you will also find a dropper. Right. And <laughs> So that what you are going to need at home is some rubbing alcohol. You want to make it make sure it is the 70% alcohol rubbing alcohol and some like newsprint or something to put underneath um, your sheet so you don't get anything on it and Sharpie markers, whichever colors you want. So let's get started. First, pick your colors. Um, I went with pinks green, and greens and purples. Um, a bit of blue so they I think they blend nicely together make sure to pay attention to what colors you choose um, and look at a color wheel if you need to they're all gonna blend together so you can end up with an icky brown if you're not careful okay it's a bit hard to see so I'm gonna show you some design techniques here this is on paper but you can do these on your mask um, to give you different effects uh, so on mine, I use the curly cue technique. Um, so I'll pick one color, make some curly cues, and then I'm going to grab another color, like my pinks or my magentas, and put it right ne close next to each other. So that way, when I go in with the alcohol, those will blend together. Um, so that's one little technique you can use to do this. Um, and you can go as many colors as you want. And also, the other main one is the dot technique. So you draw a little, a couple of little dots close together, and then you take another color and you draw more dots close together um, so that they will all blend nicely when we put the alcohol on in a few minutes. All right, so I have that, so go ahead and start putting designs on your mask. This is your own, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so as much as you like, or come up with a completely new technique, it's your choice. Time to grab your rubbing alcohol. I remember it's got to be 70%, and you can pour some in a little cup, get your dropper, and go and use it to soak up, get some alcohol. Then you are just going to add a few drops over um, the Sharpie marks on your mask, and you are going to start to see the effect pretty, pretty quickly. As you drop the alcohol on, um, the color is going to spread, and then they are going to start blending together. Um, so this could be a little meticulous. You're going to have to go through um, and refill your, your dropper a couple of times um, as you go through. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video so you can start seeing the full effect. All right, almost done. Uh, just a few more alcohol drops and voila, we have our completed mask. So stay tuned until the end. We're gonna give you some instructions on how to wash and tear for your mask. Okay, now that your mask is done, it's time to go over washing instructions. The first time you wash your mask, you might wanna do it by hand so that it doesn't get Sharpie on any of your other clothes. Uh, we recommend using cold water and whether you hand wash it or machine wash it, make sure that you air dry it. So you can lay it flat to dry or hang it up. Right there. All right, and we wanted to let you know when our next DIY video is going live and you can pick up the supplies for that, um, we are going to do Kool-Aid lip balm. Um, we will have some supplies for 
or are you ready at the library starting October 19th? Um, and you'll be able to come in, pick those up, and then you will have a list of supplies that you're going to need to have at home for that as well, just like this one. All right, hopefully we'll see you for the next video um, in a month. All right, enjoy your mask. I hope it works well. Bye. Bye.